Hello. So I make a lot of artwork that you don't see because I'm afraid of being cringe. But that changes today. We're gonna dismantle the stigma that vent art is cringe and look at some artwork I made when I was big sad and rate it. So first up we got this. This one's pretty simple, representing confusing feelings in the form of colourful squiggles. I feel like this one's quite easy for anyone to get some kind of meaning out of. I'd give it a 3 out of 5. This next one kind of doesn't even feel like vent art since it is so quirky and relatable. A little bit too much attention to detail but its original purpose was as vent art so 2 out of 5. Here's a classic character being sad vent art. Very nicely unapologetic. 3.5. Now this. I don't even remember what I was feeling with this one. Pretty sure the colours and textures have literally no meaning whatsoever. Just feelings visualised in their purest form. 3.7. This one I could actually explain. Uh, sometimes I get these migraines where one side of my face feels numb and I can't see properly. So this is like an attempt at illustrating how that feels. I don't know why my guy looks like a wolf, but props for not caring enough to fix that. 3 out of 5. So this one we have a cute little creature. Pretty sure this is also not supposed to represent anything. Disgusting colour palette. 4 out of 5. So yeah, people get sad, drawing is a healthy way to let those feelings out, and being kind to others is very epic and cool. Thanks for watching.